There's a show, I don't know if it's still on or not, but it says sex sent me to the ER. That's some of the funniest shit. Like this one couple had a... Uh, it was like the uh... uh what is it? Like the like girl like handcuff uh handcuffed the boy or something, and she put the key in her box. <laughs> and box? Now, when you mean box, do you mean like an actual box, or do you mean like? No, a box? not an actual box, a meaty box. Okay. Um, and um, what happened was that I got lodged. I got lodged up because she forgot about it. Uh. <laughs> and so the guy had to go in and uh some like really fucked up but funny ass stories that doesn't sound funny to me quite honestly it just sounds well, terrible. Jake's a psychopath he finds weird things funny That's no weird. what you need is you need a friend who works in the ER and he has, I've had one friend tell me that you name anything they've had a fish out of somebody and he could probably tell you it's done it the most common thing he's had to remove from men's rectal cavities? Light bulbs. I was about to say. Why? Light yeah. Light Light Why? The shape. It's the shape. They don't understand it. It's the most common thing they've had to like have emergency surgery with people intentionally putting light bulbs up their ass. I'm like, okay, you are aware how fragile these are, and it's glass? What it's it's uh one of my, it's uh I think okay. it was episode of Scrubs too when the person like got an X ray I was like okay two things is it a light bulb okay. that dude or guys it's totally guys 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 if we're guys. if we're gonna talk about people shoving stuff up their ass I feel this is a very good time to talk about Jed Whitaker oh right I, uh, I saw that Twitter post huh for those who don't Jed know, Whitaker shoved a Joy-Con up his ass he shoved a lot of things up his ass. Really? Right I only heard about the Joy-Con. Yeah, what a waste of a Joy-Con! Yeah, apparently. seriously. Those are expensive! I, I forgot, what, what, where does it <laughs> work again? Oh, god, um... Polytaku Gamma... I don't know. What was that, what was that term I used? Was he the one who kept oh. calling gamers piss babies? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, he was the one with. Wait, was he the one with the piss fetish? I I I, have, I don't know who who that was. I know Jed Whittaker is the guy who shoves amiibos up his ass. <sighs> Why? Just get. Just just get a dildo. <laughs> Order it online. Nobody has to know. <laughs> oh, I can make it darker. How so? One of the same same guy who works the ER. One of the things he had to. Woman was drunk one night, and she was her and her boyfriend were playing around and stuff and whatever. My boss. They were sticking things up inside, you know what, and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, she goes to the doctor, like freaking out. Something's wrong. Something. I I, I feel sick. Uh, my insides are really, you know, a lot of pain in the inside. I'm not sure what's there. He's like, well, let's get into the ER. Looks like you have an infection going on. Goes to the ER piece of a hot dog that broke off that went rotten inside her oh uh, uh, Sucker, keep playing don't pause for this <laughs> <laughs> what so hot dog got rotten inside her you know her for jj it was like, pretty it's... pretty <laughs> okay <laughs> I, I would hot like, dogs... seriously like expect like gerbils or hamsters and, 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 but light bulbs and... and hot dogs yeah wait Gerbils and hamsters? Yeah, you never oh, heard of that, that urban legend thing with Richard Gere that never happened, but it still became a rumor that spread. Lemmy wings, dude. Lemmy wings, <laughs> lemmy wings. <laughs> dude, you you tell you, you tell Fox or CNN anything with a straight face, they'll fucking believe it. <laughs> the gerbil story is like twenty years old plus, like maybe thirty years old. It just got it just spread like wildfire, and everyone talked about it. I mean, it was. Clearly false, but it's still like, oh my god, you hear about this? And of course, Richard Gere's like, the fuck did this come from? <laughs> I mean, he, I think he like played it off like, oh come on, you guys, this is ridiculous. But people, people out there took it seriously, like it was the real thing. Like, come on, okay, no. guys, 
All right, guys, where is the third alien kid? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Watch this kid get like that. What the hell are these guys talking about? It's dead. Especially since it has a helmet on. Mumbo! Mumbo, we need your help again! We need you to raise the dead and not uh, raise a zombie army. Yeah, we. we Actually, don't need... I'm perfectly okay with raising a zombie army. What if that zombie yeah. ar What if that zombie army saw it start shoving amiibos up their ass? <laughs> well, then we can tell Whit Jed Whitaker to stop spreading his crazy fetishes and kinks to everyone, <laughs> including the dead. You know what? I bet the dead will be uh, quite uh, enlightened by by all that. You know what? I will they? they don't, because they don't feel any pain at well, all. So if they don't feel any pain, then one can also assume that they don't that feel August, sexual arousal. Let, let it be known that in August of 2017, Dave has said that the dead can learn something very valuable by shoving an, a Captain Falcon amiibo up their ass. <laughs> Why Captain Falcon? Because he's the best. <laughs> well, I have a quick Gotta question. Show you so, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you a quick question. And okay, what happens if you shove an amiibo up your ass and you gain the powers? What amiibo would you shove up your ass? I don't like, know. Like, if one's the, the shortest, shortest character, character. That one. <laughs> shortest character? Um. If I, I like, if I was Kirby? forced to, then I would pick the one that was smallest. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> because Jake. Fair enough. I, I hey, think Kirby. Is Kirby the, or Jamie Puck the smallest? I don't know. Huh. No, no, no. It was. I think it was Dobson who had the piss fetish. No, that wasn't Dobson. <laughs> he, he. It was just a guy with a very similar art style to Dobson. Huh. Dobson, oh my god, like, is so you, I, I wish we had a game that we could use to make fun of Dobson, because... You don't need a game to make fun of him. You just show a bunch of Twitter, like, you just show a random Twitter post, and you'll have more than enough to make fun of. Dude, like, you, even from an artist's perspective, he's kind of retarded. Yeah, that man is special. I think that's the last jiggy here. No, we have one more. Hayao oh, Miyazaki has officially right. returned to Studio Ghibli. He's he's gonna retire the day that he dies, like officially retire. He's no, not gonna stop. No, here, here's, gonna, gonna retire, here's what's yeah. gonna happen. He's going to die, and then at his funeral, he's gonna announce his next project. No, yeah, no, he he's going to, he's getting like I guarantee <laughs> you. No, have you guys ever heard of Lazarus Syndrome? Oh. Yeah, no. not really. No. Basically, it's basically someone uh, is declared clinically dead by doctors, but then like. A few hours later, you see him walking around again. And I guarantee you that's going to happen to Miyazaki, and he's going to go right back to work. Like, like when he's like that, I was like, I have a great idea. <laughs> yeah, but no one will complain about it, though, because it's like everything guy makes is awesome. Yeah, yeah. guy's yeah. yeah. genius. Like, even, like, even, like, his Uyghur stuff is still better than, like, 90% of what you see nowadays. Oh, yeah. Why can't I use my pocket knife on my touchscreen? Because it would break the touchscreen. Now, why can I? As in, I am actually using it as a pencil now. Oh.
Maybe the tip is really dull and it acts like a rubber pen? That makes no sense. At all. Well, explain to me why uh, a knife can act as a pencil on a touchscreen. No, I've seen it mostly used on organics and um, certain materials like cotton and polyester. But, I don't know. It's weird. All I know is that the gloves I use for Lance training and rehearsals uh, is specifically designed so you can use them on touchscreens, and it is the best thing ever. I normally use a fingerprint to open up my phone, but when I have those gloves on, I can't use the fingerprint, so I use the iris scanner instead. Okay, four to go. So where are we off to next? That was the I want to find the last Jinjo first before we go. Did we get the Jinjo in the wind tunnel? In the ice side? Maybe, maybe not. That was almost, uh... But you know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that's the one that's, like, right here. Oh my god, they found the... Other side. Other side. So, update on uh, Shia LaBeouf's Capture the Flag. They found the flag again. Oh, oh boy! They... What's it called? They flashed a blue light through the window of the building that it was in on stream, and they confirmed that it was. That, and they confirmed the location, so now they're gonna try to. Oh god, this is gonna lead to a breaking and entering, isn't it? Most likely. <laughs> it was just in a random yep. house in London, England. What the fuck? I think you have to send a, uh... Yeah, one of those in there. <laughs> you just got blown away. I don't remember how to do it. I think you have to go from above or something? I don't remember. Going from above would help. Can you run around the side? <laughs> I thought oh, of that! Fuck? That's not- that's not how air pressure works! <laughs> you're, you're talking about a game here. Oh, boy. Alright, Google Slaves, what do I do? You really want to know the answer? It's no, dumb, isn't David. it? It's really <laughs> fucking stupid, What's the isn't answer, it? David? As so it says from the wiki, in a small cave there in the icy side, strong winds prevented Yo from reaching it. So, Banjo must transform into his snowball form and become what? the largest oh. size to get past the winds. That's so dumb. So, so like you're I wrong. Uh, you you were wrong, uh, Miles. The I said no. <laughs> Although, Banjo and Kazoo may also use the eggs to get to the Jinjo. Yes, we tried that. You have to go you have to go in from a top bottom angle. Or something like that. Don't jump for <laughs> that was great! I've seen a lot of cool shit in my time, but that was the coolest. Hey, chill out with the puns, okay? Nobody got that, <laughs> did they? 
I'm trying to think of more ice puns, but all right, stay cool. But Chill but, out. but uh, my brain's just freezing up right now, so I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot whether that purple Jinjo is the last one. I know we still have stuff to do at Grunty Industries. But I feel like the... You feel like... I feel like the... I feel like maybe the Jinjos in Club Cuckoo Land are gonna be easy. Er. Yeah. That's fucking dumb. This is fucking dumb. <coughs> this is fucking it's, it's dumb. It's literal. It's giving me cancer, guys. Are you not your largest size? What the? What the actual fuck? That's what it says on the wiki to do. Try to get like a really big running start. Oh. No, he's not getting up. Oh, there we there go. There go. Oh, now it's not blowing! Yeah. Because there's no it. more jiggy to cock block you from. Mm. Jake, don't take that sexually. He's gonna take that sexually. Too late. <laughs> Uh, snowball form actually reminds me of a snowball. No, uh, Jack oh. Frost from Persona. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I can see that. Technically, he's from Shimigami Tensei, but it's an offshoot, so I'll give it a pass. Yeah, close enough. Uh, I love how look. Persona became its own series. Yeah, I mean, granted, I enjoyed the first two games' combat more. You do dumb things. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. Hey, have you guys ever heard of Complex Magazine? Complex Magazine? Yeah. Mmm. I gotta look that up. Yeah. Well, they just called Sonic the Hedgehog the latest symbol of anti-racism. What? 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 <laughs> Anti-racism. Anti-racism. The world's fastest ha hedgehog. <laughs> that, that, I can't okay, live this, in this world anymore. This is almost as baffling. No, it's actually, you know what? No, no, it's not. No, it is entirely baffling. What the fuck is the connection here? This well, is a because... mascot for a Japanese company that doesn't give shit about uh, give a shit about your identity politics. It's so, really in America. So I oh I think it's because blue and there's so, there's someone in the red. 
No. Yeah, because everyone's a bunch of different colors, and that's totally not a design choice. That uh, d design choice meant to make them stand out from each other. But it's totally a, a choice to, to to combat racism. Yeah. Guess um, guess what? Th th that same logic applies to uh, Power Rangers then. Yes. Sir. Exactly. The first Power Rangers color coded according to their heritage. Yes. Oh my god, that was amazing. But seriously. Yeah. yeah, no, you got um, blue nerd, pink cheerleader, yellow Asian, black black guy, and <laughs> red Native American. Black and, black and Conan O'Brien was the white ranger. Okay, right. but, but Tommy was I'll actually... Be right, like, I'll be right back. They shuffled around the colors a little bit. Uh, the colors and the races of it in the uh, latest movie, which was a bomb, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, the B is probably the most... Most annoying? No, it's great, actually. No, yeah. noise-wise, it's the most annoying. Okay, Gameplay-wise, yeah, noise... it's the most fun. Yeah. notes are in it there in the game. 900. More than there should be. <laughs> yeah, they're a pain in the ass to collect even the first game. Dude, they were even more of a pain in the ass to collect in the first game. You know, while I'm a bee, I think I'm just gonna collect a lot of this stuff in here. Well, there's hey. only blue gingos. Hey, three more! Yep. And then the last session can be nothing but the final boss. Well, that. Well, it's gonna be. Wow, did you really collect all but 25 of the music notes? Have you been, like, 100%ing, like, specific parts of the game? Oh no, like I've kind of been doing it accidentally. Cause you do need Also do it's need not to... too late it's not too late to try to hundred percent deadly premonition. Uh, uh, you really want to do all those no. side quests? I would like someone to help me uh, complete them, but I wouldn't mind. I honestly wouldn't mind. Like, the more time I spend that w spend like, with that game, the more that I enjoy it. Like, do you need a Google slave or something? Yes. Dave? <sighs> well, I, got, I guess I got nothing else better to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll... Since the game actually helps keep tabs on which quests can be uh, done when, I'll just call out the names of the quests and you can look them up. Got it. That was all the notes here. Awesome. Ah. You're missing 15.
I know. Yeah, they're in Grunty Industries. I'm sure we'll find them. Oh, are you going back? Yeah. Well, I never said I was going to be doing 100%. I said I was going to... 99% it, just yeah. to piss off the OCD in the audience. <laughs> Those comments like, Dude, you totally missed it up there! Oh my god! We know. We skipped that one. <laughs> yeah, we skipped that one because it's hard. Like, pain in the ass to get, forget it. I mean, some games are worth, you know, and they're a lot of fun getting 100%, others are just like, no, it's not even worth my time. Like, to me, but... You know, but like, especially with games like Crash and uh, Banjo-Kazooie, where it's really not that much longer to 100% the game, why not 100% the game? Eh, fair enough. Crash, I will say this, it's super hard to, but Crash is actually really fun to uh, 100%. Except for sp except for spaced out, as I've learned. Which fun fact, you know that one level? I think I mentioned. I don't know if I mentioned this to you, Radomir, but during the Crash Two uh, thing, I yeah. ha I was having a. Uh, I basically blazed through the whole game until I got to one level. Guess which level that was. Hmm. I'm going to say the first giant polar bear mission. No. I don't know. I wasn't. It's I don't le remember. Level 25 spaced out. I think I got like th two, three game overs on that. Oh. Uh, oh, that was. Yeah, that was the first space station level, right? Second space station. Second? Level. That's fair. I will say yeah, this. Yeah, no, the though, space station levels so were by far the hardest. I do them in any order. Yeah, the, the space station levels were by far the hardest. Alright, first Jiggy in Cloud Cuckoo Land. I don't know how that ended up happening. Hey, two more, and then we can call it a session because I'm tired. 